like all of LA, we were excited. All, all Dodger fans everywhere excited. You know, obviously throughout this whole process, uh, CAA with with Mike and Ryan and, and Shoy Otani has kept this this process really really quiet. You, you saw a lot of uh, media out there saying that he might be on a flight to Toronto. He, you know, where is Shohei? So you knew there was some type of buzz, and you knew some decision was about to take place. And as Dodger fans, we were just hoping just a glimmer of hope that he would somehow choose the Dodgers. And then Shoy Otani announced on his Instagram that he's going to be a Dodger. And obviously all of LA was, was excited. I'm excited because we're talking about a generational town. You know, this is our generation's Babe Ruth. Yeah. And when we talk about athletes. He's the best athlete in the, on the planet. And without question, this guy throws hundred miles an hour, hits 500 foot bombs, uh, is an elite pitcher. And he's going to pitch again in 2025 after the successful Tommy John surgery. Uh, and he has world-class speed. He's about 6'5", 225 pounds, tremendous athlete. So to, to, give, to get a global brand like the Dodgers and a global transcendent player to, to uh, form that marriage, without question, it was the best move for baseball, best move for Shoei Otani, an incredible move for the Dodgers. Jerry, it's it's money like we've never seen before. You obviously, you see Aaron Judge signs his big contract last year, uh, you know, three hundred fifty ish million dollars. This is money like we've never seen before. D does Shohei have to pitch in order for this deal to make sense? And and I and like you said, it seems like the Dodgers expect that he's going to pitch not next season but the following year. Well, he he's going to pitch again, no question about it. And we're talking about a two way superstar, not a two way player. He's a two way superstar. He's arguably the best pitcher in the world when he takes the mound. And arguably, you can make a strong case, especially the way he's swinging the bat. He's top two, top three hitter in all of baseball. So I think he's just entering into his prime, especially with the bat. If you look at his numbers, 304 last year, 44 bombs. And you got to remember, he wasn't really pitched to all that often. Right. All that often. So you put him in a lineup with Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman. And what that also does, too, it makes those guys better. But guys like Gavin Lux, who will be back next season, guys like Will Smith, guys that are really good players, that's going to make them better because they're going to get better pitch to him. Jerry, you know, I don't know how, uh, you know, the manager uh, sets the lineup, but those guys that you just said, I, I don't know. Does, does it get better than that anywhere I mean, it's pretty remarkable, right? Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, and now Shohei Otani. As a, as a threesome there, however you want to align them, does it get any better than that? You know, it's amazing. You know, you look at Mookie Betts, you look at Freddie Freeman, you look at Shohei Otani. Top three, you can make a case, top three offensive players in all of baseball. Now, obviously, looking at the Yankees, they got Aaron Judge, sure. Juan Soto. They got their big three in New York, and obviously the Dodgers have now their big three, but – Make no mistake about it. And the Dodgers realize it. Shoei Otani also realizes it. this is baseball. This is not basketball. So you got to make sure you have a complete team. And that's why Shoei Otani's contract was very interesting to me. It shows me that he wants to win. He's deferred a lot of money, you know, in the future. He's going to get his several hundred million. Right. But he's deferred his a lot, a lot of, of his money for future years. So that way the Dodgers can continue to get players year after year. So, again, incredible contract. Yes, it's a whole lot of money, but he's worth it. He's a guy that brings so many eyeballs, whether it's TV, whether it's stadium. He's going to – I think ESPN reported last year. He brings in anywhere from 70 to $85 million in revenue alone. And that, that's when he was with the Angels. Right. Imagine how much money he's going to bring to an iconic franchise like the Dodgers. So, again, he is worth, worth, he is worth the price of admission. Jerry, and, and tell me if I'm wrong here, you were teammates with Hideki Matsui. I'm sure you saw all of the Japanese media uh, that followed your team around. You guys obviously win a, a World Series title. What's it going to be like for the Dodgers players? And, and is there going to be an adjustment for them to have all of this new media around now that Otani is a, a member? Well, of hey, listen, LA is the second biggest media market in the United States. So this Dodger brand and the Dodger players that play in LA, it's already a big market. They're used to having, you know, all the cameras around. Now you add Shohei Otani. Yes. The, the media is going to uh, increase probably five times, but we're talking guys, Mookie Betts, superstar, Freddie Freeman, superstar, Will Smith, 
Clayton Kershaw, so many guys that are used to being in the spotlight. So I, trust me, this is going to be not new hat, but old hat for these guys. They understand what it's like being in the spotlight. And, and they're going to realize, listen, a lot of the media t- attention is going to be for Shohei Otani, and rightfully so. I'm telling you guys, guys uh, in that clubhouse, they do have egos, but the good kind. They want to perform. They want to be all they can be. But they don't have so much egos. With Listen, it's all about winning. It's all about winning championships, and Shoei Otani can help us do that. I'll get you out of here on this one, Jerry. I know on Friday the, the expectation in, in Dodgers land was to win a, a World Series this come, upcoming season, but what is it now that you've got Otani, you've added that bat to that lineup for next season? Uh, I, I take it that the expectation around there now is, hey, we're going to win a World Series in 2024. Well, it, it, that's every year, though. It, it doesn't matter whether the Dodgers got Shoei Otani or not. It's about winning rings championship it's la whether it's the dodgers whether it's the lakers it's all about championships making sure you hoist banners up there and listen you know Shohei otani saw that he wants to be a part of that and that's why he deferred a lot of that money it's about also getting other pieces whether it's a couple more starting pitchers via the free agent market or the trade market they're trying to make sure they have the best team not just this season but for years to come